Hey, it's Phil here. Um, as you guys know or may not know, I, I don't know if you've watched the other videos, we have a 2021 Chevy 2500 HD. Um, and our tailgate is a push button. Uh, there's no handle to pull it, to open it. Um, and this morning, I noticed that on our dash, it said tailgate open. Um, and once we parked, I, was, I said, I'm gonna see what's going on with it. I tried to open the tailgate. Uh, we have a button on the inside. Uh, we have a button on our keys. There's a button on the back of the, um, the tailgate and the tailgate would not come down. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, it, I don't know if this actually fixed the problem or it's a temporary fix. I will eventually uh, take it to the dealership and have them take a look at it. But I wanna show you what I did to uh, correct the issue so that my tailgate will go up and down. So as I said, um, it showed up on our dash on our information center right here. It's not on right now because I don't have the truck started, uh, that the tailgate was open. Uh, so I didn't know what that meant because the tailgate was in fact closed. So I'm gonna kind of step you through the steps of what I did to, to correct it. I, but it's like everything electronic. Maybe if you shut it off and turn it back on, it will suddenly work. I mean, when I'm, at, when I'm at work, if there's an issue with my computer and I call the IT support, the first thing they say is, shut it down and restart it. So that's what I'm, I basically did with the truck and this is the way I did it. So I start, right here is the release for my hood, right here. Uh, so, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll get under the hood and I'll uh, take, the, take the battery loose and kind of hope that that kind of resets everything. So once I, right here is the little lever uh, for my truck to open the hood. And of course, me being a child of the 60s and 70s and 80s and working on vehicles, the first thing I did was I looked to the right hand of my engine compartment and lo and behold, there's no battery there. I didn't realize that Chevy had moved the battery to this side of the truck, right here behind the, the uh, air intake is the battery itself. There is a, a little door here. Uh, if you need to jumpstart your truck, this little door uh, allows you to, to hook your positive on there and then your negative is back here. Well, when I took this top off and I'll just pop it off real quick and let you see, my Lord, this truck has this horrible um, panel kind of stuck on top of the battery here. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to disconnect the, the positive wire. I'm just going to simply disconnect the, bat, the, the, um, the negative wire right here. And it's just this one little screw. It's a 10 millimeter screw uh, that, or nut that I had to take off. And I just pulled the, the negative uh, connection terminal up. I pulled it up out of there and went in and checked to make sure, in fact, the, the power to the front or to the inside of the truck was off. It was, there was no light when I opened the door. When I pushed the button to start the vehicle, there was no power to the vehicle. So then I thought, well, I'll just put it back on. So I simply reattached the negative, uh, the ground wire there, the negative wire, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, I, I just did the, I put the connection back on the battery, uh, hoping that in fact this would work. Come to the back of the truck, fingers crossed, and click my, uh, my remote on my key fob and the, uh, it worked. So just basically I reset the electronic system by unplugging the battery and, and plugging it back in or taking the power away from the truck using the, the negative terminal on the battery. And at, at least it has temporarily fixed it. Like I said, uh, if you're watching this video and you have this issue and you do this, I highly recommend, and I'm going to uh, call the dealership that I take the truck to to have it serviced and tell them what happened and tell them what I did and tell them I want to bring it in and let them check it. So that's kind of what I did to uh, temporarily correct that. One thing I want to note, um, 
The last time I had my tailgate opened, I shut it by hand. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably should always use your remote uh, or the, the button inside or the button on the back of the tailgate to close the tailgate. So just something I thought uh, and I would recommend. But again, we're Hendrick home on the highway and we'll see you on down the road.